Hello everyone and welcome to Meet Me at the Table. This is Colin and today Monica and I are going to start part two of Star Wars Rebellion. I almost found Monica's base. I was super close and then she poof moved it and I don't know where it is. We are going to try and find it. But in the meantime, Han Solo has been captured by the dark side. We have nine leaders to Monica's seven. So yeah, feeling pretty good about that. Please do make sure to turn on those Klingon subtitles. If I make any errors and miss them in editing, they'll pop up there. I'm also recording this before the part one is live. So if there's any huge issues with part one that I've missed, I'll be having them pop up right now to tell you about them in uh, notes because otherwise we're just jumping in. So I'm not going to be able to fix anything from that. Sorry. We're just going to start right in. So this is round five. Monica has chosen four missions to lead this round, and she has three leaders she's not using for missions. Very interesting. Not what I normally see with the Rebels, so I'm interested to see what she's going to do here. For this round, I'm planning just three missions, trying to capture another Rebel operative and make an example of them. <laughs> Oh, who's that going to be? I don't know. I'm also going to have Admiral Ozel do the proceeding as planned uh, assignment card as well. Everybody else is going to be ready to move some units. Speaking of moving some units, Monica is going to start by moving units to Hoth. Look at this. How did I miss this, you guys? She's using her frigate and this Y-Wing bringing her two ground units here. She's now one away from Endor. That will allow her next time to push up her objective marker one space and she's going to capture my Death Star plans and then my Death Star is vulnerable. So I have to be careful here. I don't think I'm going to be able to, I'm too far away. I'm not gonna be able to catch her. Ah, oh, I don't know why I didn't see that. Oh well, it happens, that's what happens, right? <laughs> The first thing we're going to do is use Admiral Ozel. Search the project deck for one card of your choice and assign this leader to that mission. Then shuffle your project deck. Well, the one I want to do is Construct Factory. Resolve in an Imperial System. Place units on the build queue using this system's resource icons and number. If there's a sabotage marker in the system, remove the marker before resolving this. You know where we're doing this, Corellia. We're going to remove this sabotage marker. We'll get another TIE Fighter and another Star Destroyer. The amount of space units we have is insane. I almost feel bad. Almost. <laughs> Monica is then going to use Princess Leia to move some more units. She's going to move units from Felicia over here to Mandalore. Interesting. She has enough to carry all three of those units plus this one for four. So that's our four land units, the X-Wing and the Y-Wing. Everybody's moving over to Mandalore. Hmm, I wonder what she's thinking of doing. We're going to use Grand Moff Tarkin to move into Mustafar. I cannot have her have these different resources here. So we are going to move this Star Destroyer plus everything that's here because everything can fit over there. Monica, is Mustafar your uh, base? No, it's not. So we will subjugate that system though, so she does not get the uh, triangle or the circle. Monica will use Mon Mothma now, and she's going to try and gain some loyalty. She's going to choose Geonesis, and I don't think we're going to stop her. Yet again, she has more rebel loyalty. My goodness, it is all over the board. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take Han Solo and he is going to assault Mandalore because look at this. This is adjacent to here so we can bring the Death Star in, which right now we know is totally invulnerable. We're going to bring in one Stormtrooper, four of these TIE Fighters, but then we've got adjacent over here as well. So we're going to bring a Star Destroyer and we're going to bring an at, -AT we're going to bring another TIE Fighter and one more of these Stormtroopers. <laughs> oh, this is going to be another fun combat. I tried to print out this sheet that's supposed to help track for combat, but I don't know. I don't have it set up great. That's okay. This is the air up here. This is the ground. Remember, this uh, is completely invulnerable. Let's see what Monica can do. I'm hoping I can take out a bunch of her units before she can run away. I do have ground units in Mandalore, so I do need to ask Monica if that is her rebel base. It's not. So we have now each grabbed our tactics cards. 
Monica has prevent one red hit, one blank hit, and one direct hit because she does have a transport. That's kind of cool. I have, if there are more Imperial fighters than Rebel fighters, deal two damage. So this is just two damage. I don't think this will block this two damage, but I do think it'll block once we start rolling dice. The two damage I'm doing are to the two Y wings. So now we will determine our dice pool. We get four red dice because of the Death Star. Four. <laughs> then for our TIE Fighters, we get black dice. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll have all five black dice. Then with our Star Destroyer, it would normally give us one black and two red. That just means we're rolling ten dice. Five of the red, five of the black. And because we have Han Solo leading the charge, we get two rerolls. Having the Death Star almost feels unfair, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. And we get two rerolls. Uh, so we're going to keep all of these and we'll just reroll the two misses. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's another hit. So she is going to cancel from her card one red, one direct, and one black. All the rest of these are damage. The transport needs two red damage. So I have one red and one direct. So that'll be the two damage there. All of these just need black. I have one, two, three, four. So I'll place one here and then I'm putting a second one on each of them. Yeah, two, three, four. So they each have two damage on them. So she's going to have a real hard time repairing them. Now what Monica will get to roll is two reds, one black, and that's it. Just two reds and a black with one reroll with Princess Leia. She's got her one here. She's not even going to be able to take down that Star Destroyer, I don't think. Oh, well, she could repair twice something that one red is useless. Uh, if she repaired, she could repair that transport. I think she's going to repair the transport. Let's re-roll this to see if I get a direct damage instead. No, it's one red. Useless. But with the two repairs, she's going to repair the transport. That will mean she will continue to have the transport out, but all three of these ships have been destroyed. Okay, now we're going to our land combat. We have our two cards. I'm playing the Imposing Presence. How thematic is that? Rebel ground units cannot remove damage you, uh, this combat round. <laughs> and Monica go is going to play Escape Plan. No, she does have a transport. You may immediately retreat if you do cancel the Imperial Tactic card. Oh, she's going to retreat. Yep, she's shaking her head and smiling. She is going to retreat. Monica is retreating to Dathomir right over here. She has a transport that can hold just enough for ground units. She has no air units here, but except for that transport. And I'm going to be here in Mandalore, one away with Han Solo. <laughs> and with this ridiculous force, I was ready to take her down and I can't. Okay. That was still successful for me overall. I took out a bunch of her uh, air units and I have her on the run. Monica is now going to activate Jin Erso, and she has a plant explosives. Attempt in any system. Now you're going to see there's a two here. Jin Erso only has one main, but she also has one small for that spec ops. So that means she'll roll green dice if she has to roll for that one spec op, but she has enough of the skill symbols to use this card. If you roll more successes than the Imperial player, destroy ground units in the system with the combined health equal to or less than the difference. Max is three units. Oh, what is she thinking of doing here? She's coming over here to Maigido. She's going to try and take out one of our units. She's trying to get over to Ilium. I only have General Tag with me left that has a spec op. I think I'm going to let her roll. Hopefully she just gets no successes. <laughs> She's rolling one regular die and one green die for this. Oh, she gets two successes. That means she destroys both of these units. Both of these units had only one health, and now my Gito is fully exposed. This means if her small little force here is able to get to my Gito and then Ilum, she will push up the objective marker by one if she gets here. Okay, I do have Ord Mantel here that I can uh, place more units, and I'll be able to place two more units here, but I don't have any land units. I have airship units, but I... Okay, I'll have to think about that. I'm just wondering a bit if Monica is trying to distract me and Felucia is where she has her rebel base. So I'm going to come here with our units from Mon Calamari. I'm bringing over a Star Destroyer. That can carry six. So I've got to bring a couple land units, two ATSTs. That's two. 
two TIE Strikers. That's four. And let's do two uh, TIE Fighters. That's six. Monica, is Felucia your base? It's not. It's not her base. Okay. So we'll subjugate that system as well. Monica's next leader will be Luke Skywalker. He's going to sabotage. Monica is going to choose Luke Skywalker to sabotage in my Gito. That means we're going to lose these two symbols. Taking a look at our probe map, I see only a few locations left for where Monica could have her base. Dathomir is looking really tempting. Kashyyyk is also tempting. It's close. She's got one unit there. Ryloth, too. That one's actually kind of far away from me, too. And so is Kessel. Plus, she's got all the three over here, just like she had before. Ugh. So the question becomes, where do I want to move? I've got two more leaders that can move units. I have a bit of a problem. <laughs> I am all set up to capture one of her leaders, but she needs to have a leader in a location that has an Imperial unit. And right now, she doesn't have one. So... I can't capture anyone right now, and that's going to mean two of my leaders could be useless this round. The first thing I think we are going to do is come over here with General Tag, and we're going to take Geonesis from her. We're going to bring this Assault Carrier from Tatooine. That will bring this TIE Fighter, and we're going to come into Geonesis. We know Geonesis cannot be her base, uh, but we will at least take that over from her so she does not get that as production. Monica has one more mission left. This is for General Riken. Oh, it's rapid mobilization. Is she going to move her uh, base again? I don't know. She will choose what to do at the end of the round with this. So either she can have five units actually go into the rebel base, or she can establish a new base. But if she does that, she's only going to draw four, four cards instead of eight probe cards because she only used one leader. For our next activation, we're going to have Darth Vader use some Imperial propaganda. We're going to attempt in any Imperial system. If successful, each system in this region that has rebel loyalty becomes neutral. We're going to attempt this in Sullust, and all Monica has in her leader pool is Cassian Andor, and he has no diplomacy. He only has intel. So she's not going to send him. That means we succeed, and that means... Both Naboo here and Utapau are going to lose Rebel Loyalty. <laughs> we just took two of those off the board. That feels great. For Monica's next activation, she's using Cassian Andor, and she's going to move some of her units from Nelhada to try and take on us here at Bathwawi. Really? She's going to bring the Mon Calamari, both of the X-Wings, and the Ewing. She is not doing anything on ground. This is space on space battle. Interesting. Do we want to use our leader here? I, I think we do. I think we're going to use our leader and oppose so we get some rerolls. Maybe we can take out that Mon Calamari ship. This is a pretty gosh darn even match. She's up on me by one ship, but otherwise all health is essentially the same. Four health, four health, one, 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 and just one, one. Whew. This is going to be tight. I wonder if she's trying to complete an objective where she has to win a combat or something. We've each grabbed our tactics card. I'll go first. I do not have an interdictor, so we're just using the bottom. This says next combat round, the rebel player cannot play a space tactic card. I'm banking on the fact that she's trying to maybe take out one of my ships, so she's going to stay here, I think. So that's what I'm doing there. What is she going to play? She's going to prevent two red hits you may play one additional space tactics card and she's going to play deal two black damage because she does have an X-Wing. She's dealing two black damage to our TIE Fighters. Ow. She will roll two black dice for the two X-Wings. For the U-Wing, she gets a green. And for the Mon Calamari Cruiser, one black and two red. And Cassian gives her two rerolls. She's looking for red hits here or direct damage. Okay, she's got one here and one here. She's going to keep both of those. She can re-roll two of them. I think the two she's going to re-roll are these two. Come on. Okay, she has a direct three direct damage. The two black damage, she's totally going to take out these TIE Fighters unless I roll really well for defense. So both of them have two damage, and then our Star Destroyer has three damage on it right now with the two direct and one red. But we now get to fight back. So we get 
two black ones for our two TIE Fighters, and then one black and two red for our Star Destroyer with two rerolls. We'll roll our four dice. Okay, we've got two repairs. We could maybe save a TIE Fighter or repair the Star Destroyer. I think we're going to repair the Star Destroyer with that. With those two, I'm going to leave them. Oh, man. So I'm only going to deal two damage. The two repairs will repair this, no problem. We are going to lose these two. And then with these two, we're going to take out the two X-Wings. Okay, so she now only has a U-Wing and her Mon Calamari. We have just our Star Destroyer. And that's it. And are we going to run away? Do we want to run away? <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this, but... I don't like to, the Empire does not run away. No, we're doing another round of combat. We get to play a card she doesn't get to. The only thing we're going to be able to do is just deal one red damage. And we're going to hit the Mon Calamari for that. So the Mon Calamari has one red damage. Okay, she's now going to roll up. She gets two red and a black and a green. She'll roll up her dice. She has one direct hit. That's it. She's going to roll these two up. Oh, that's three. That will be enough to destroy our Star Destroyer. Three damage plus the one from before. That's four damage on us. Okay, we get one black and two red. We just need three damage to take out that Mon Calamari. Seriously? Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll roll these two up. That's two damage. That's not going to be enough to take it out. So we'll take out the U-Wing, but we do lose the Star Destroyer. Our Star Destroyer is toast. Our first one gone. She will use the, lose the U-Wing. She still has the Mon Calamari ship, though. Monica is going to play an objective. I knew it. Play after a Star Destroyer or Super Star Destroyer has been destroyed in a combat that you initiated. Yeah, she certainly initiated that. That is going to tick down the objective marker to 11. That, unfortunately for me, is going to end the round. I have two more leaders ready to go on missions I can't do. I cannot capture anyone. No one is in a place where I can capture them. Oh, that's just maddening. I thought for sure they would be. So I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to claim end of round. And that means she can move up to five units or she can move her base. But she's not going to move her base, she said. She's going to move five units from one location ignoring adjacency. The U-Wing here can take one unit, so the U-Wing and this uh, Rebel Trooper are both going to be moved to the Rebel base. That's it. She only has two units in the Rebel base, so that's not the end of the world. She's getting them off of Utapau because I have a feeling she knows those days are numbered. <laughs> I'm going to be taking that over soon. At the start of the refresh phase, Monica is going to play a popular support. Play if at least six systems have Rebel loyalty. Even though certain systems are subjugated, they still have rebel loyalty. That one was a little bit confusing. We had to look that up. Mon Calamari is one. Nelhada is two. Kashyyyk is three. Ryloth is four. Geonesis is five. And Mustafar is six. Those are the six. She's going to push up her objective marker again. She's now down to the 10 mark. Next round, she's going to be able to get to Endor and push this down to 9. And then Ilum, the next round, likely, that's going to push her down to 8. Oh my gosh, I've got maybe two more rounds left before she's going to win the game. We've drawn up our two missions. We have Interrogation Droid, Attempt Against a Captured Leader, Count All Skill Icons. If successful, the Rebel player must name three systems. One of these systems must contain the Rebel base. Oh, I love that card. Stolen Intel. Uh, attempt in any rebel system. If successful, draw one probe card and look at the rebel player's hand of mission cards. Choose and discard one of the mission cards. Of course, you can't discard a starting mission. Okay, and then we have Malastare and we have Bathwawi, our locations that cannot be the rebel base. I think I knew both of those. Yes, I do. I know both of those. We will move the marker up to round six, and that means we can build units onto the build queue, and then we will deploy them. We were able to clamp down a bit on Monica this time, so for building, it's all in the one spot, only triangles for her. <laughs> for us, uh, we do have a bit of a sabotage going on over here, which is a bummer because I can't put anything in that location. So my Guido is going to get surrounded or probably get some sort of rebel units there. Uh, but let's see. We have a pretty nice build. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Let's build some units. 
Here are all the units that are coming off the board. Oh my goodness, so many. These will slide down to the one spot and these will slide down to the two spot. Monica is going first for deployment. She's placing two more troopers in the rebel base. She's placing two more troopers in Ryloth. The two U-wings she has will be in Nel Hutta and her final trooper in Kashyyyk. We're going to place our Super Star Destroyer at Geonesis. Oh, look at that thing. And an ATST here. Mandalore will receive two more tanks. We're going to place a Star Destroyer in Cato Nymodia, as well as another Stormtrooper. In Mustafar, we'll place two more Stormtroopers. In Naboo, we'll place our Assault Carrier and another TIE Fighter. Or TIE Striker. Saleh Okami will get another Stormtrooper and a TIE Fighter. And I've got three TIE Fighters remaining. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. We'll drop two in Malastair. And I think we'll place one in Rhodia. This always feels like the hard part to me. Where to place everything. I do also want to mention Monica did draw another objective card. It's another level three objective card. Well, I've got to say this looks pretty pretty gosh darn epic. There's not many more places for Monica to hide. I'm hoping we can catch her this round. Let's choose our missions and start our next round. I do want to mention, I had uh, initially gave myself a resource for Bathwai, but I can't because there is this Mon Calamari cruiser there. So that's why I received one less ATST. All right, let's jump into that next round. Monica is running five missions this time. Okay. And I think we're only going to do three. I am very much hoping I can capture another leader, but instead of just killing it, <laughs> let's see if I can interrogate it. So that's my plan here and some stolen intel. All right, Monica is first moving into the command phase. The first thing she is going to do is use Jan Dodana, and he is going to move all of these over to Endor. And when he does that, he destroys both of these target objectives. And that means they're going to push up the objective marker one space. They've just raided one of our outposts. Not to mention the Death Star is now vulnerable. Maybe. <laughs> she has to be able to take it out. And that means she needs to have X-Wings. And I don't think she's got a lot of X-Wings out here. I knew that was going to be Monica's first step. So that means I know what I need to do. Dathomir. I need to take these rebel units down ASAP. I'm going to move the Death Star. That can carry eight units. I'm moving just everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. All of this. This here. These two here. I'm just leaving one single stormtrooper to keep my uh, sub subjugation here. Then I need to ask Monica, is Dathomir your base? And she says, no, it's not her base. Monica has decided to oppose us with Princess Leia again. I didn't think she was going to do that, but she did. That's not a bad thing for us. This uh, unfortunate transport doesn't even roll any dice, but we do still have to do our space combat first. Look at this. I mean, we're just swarming her. We'll flip over Monica's card. She has deal one damage and we have deal one damage. We could deal five damage to a capital ship. There aren't any capital ships. Her one damage, she's just going to do it to one of the TIE fighters. We, of course, are going to do it to her transport. We're now going to roll five red and five black dice with two rerolls. We'll give our dice a roll. One, two, actually, yep, that's enough. That's enough. That will take out the transport. She won't even get to roll anything, so we'll go right to the ground combat. I do also want to mention with this repair, that means that TIE fighter didn't even take any damage. Oh, that's just mean. For the ground combat, we'll flip these over, hold them back, destroy one ground unit. It will not roll dice this round. Ooh, so Monica's going to take out my stormtrooper. We have prevent two red and two black hits because we do have two tanks here. <laughs> okay, for dice rolling this time. We're going to roll two reds, one black for the AT-AT, -AT, and then two greens with two re-rolls thanks to Han. We'll roll up the dice. One, two, three. We will re-roll these two. And no hits. With the three damage, we're actually going to deal one to the two troopers and then one to the vanguard. Okay, now they're going to get two black, one green, and then one black and one red. We are lucky enough to prevent two red and two black hits. 
Okay, so let's see. That's the only one that's going to hit right now. We'll roll these up. Okay, so actually, they'll get these two damage through. These other ones are prevented. Unfortunately for Monica, the assault tanks need red damage. So the only one that we're going to do or use is the direct damage, taking this one out and she loses all three of these. Monica cannot retreat now because she has no way of getting her units out of this space. So we're going to continue to fight on. We have our two units here compared to her one airspeeder. We each have one card okay she's gonna play take it down deal one red damage and we are dealing one red damage one damage to the airspeeder and one damage to our tank okay we will roll two red and a black plus a green we'll roll up our dice oh nice we have a repair let's re-roll this one okay this will be enough to take out that airspeeder and we'll repair our tank that's two more damage to the airspeeder and removing this damage here the airspeeder will get one black and one red and one reroll thanks to Princess Leia. We'll roll up her dice. She has one red. The black is useless. Let's see. We'll just reroll it. Okay, yeah. So with that one red, we can take out the tank. That will mean this tank is gone, the airspeeder is gone, and we have won that combat. Dathomir is now ours, and Princess Leia is in a location with all of these Imperial units. I may be able to capture her, I think. Monica is going to continue her crusade building alliances with Mon Mothma. She's going to sneak back into Utapau. I think she wants another Mon Calamari cruiser. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to stop her with that, so we'll give her that rebel loyalty. I think we may have gotten a little bit lucky that Monica used Princess Leia, because we are going to try and capture her with Boba Fett. We have both Han Solo and Boba Fett here. That means our spec ops is three, four, five to one. Five black dice to one red. Yeah, we definitely captured Princess Leia. Monica is going to flip over base defenses. This is for General Riken. Attempt in any rebel system. If successful, gain one ion cannon and one shield generator in the rebel base space. Ah, uh, attempt in any... Oh, and she's using General Riken, so he gets two auto successes. Do I want to try and stop that? I don't really want an Ion Cannon there. Let's see. I could use uh, Emperor Palpatine. If I did that, she would have two auto successes and one die, and I'd roll three dice. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and stop this. I don't really want her to get an Ion Cannon and Shield Generator, so I am going to oppose this. She is going to do this in the Utapau system, and now I'm realizing Mon Mothma is there, so she would actually get one, two, three, four dice, and even if she failed, she could use three C-3PO. Yeah, I'm not going to waste Emperor Palpatine. I'm going to give it to her. She'll place both the Ion Cannon and Shield Generator here at the Rebel Base space. That is annoying. Now comes the fun part. We are going to interrogate uh, Princess Leia. <laughs> This attempts against a captured leader count all skill icons during this attempt. Okay, If successful, the rebel player must name three systems. So that's individual systems. One of them must contain the rebel base. She doesn't know all the information that I know. So maybe she'll skip up or slip up and one of those locations we'll be able to tell is where her rebel base is. This is all happening in Dathomir. Now we're counting all skill icons, so she's going to roll 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But we're going to roll 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're going to roll 10 to her 5. Oh, and our picture's on there, so we get two auto successes. Yeah, I, I don't know how she's going to avoid this one. 10 dice, we'll roll these up. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 2 more. That's 9 successes. Nine successes to five dice. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, she almost blocked that. But no, nine to five. She's got to tell me three different systems. One of them has to be the rebel base. The first one Monica tells me is Ilum. Okay, we know it can't be Ilum. The second one is Ryloth. It definitely could be Ryloth. And the third one is Kessel. Those are the three that she told me. It can either be Ryloth or Kessel. I don't think I know if it's either one of those. I took a quick look at my map and confirmed Kessel and Ryloth are the only two options here. 
I can't get to Kessel. I can get to Ryloth. Do I try it? I for sure could take out any of her space units. I have that Super Star Destroyer, but look, I have no ground units over there. I literally just have two ATSTs. She has a ton. Do I give it a shot? Well, I'm debating what I'm going to do. Monica is going to use Luke Skywalker. No way. Resolving the dig of a system. Attach the Master Yoda ring to this leader. Once per game round, when this leader is in the same system as a mission or combat, you may reroll one of your dice. If Luke Skywalker resolves this mission, also replace his leader with the Luke Skywalker Jedi. <laughs> Monica just got Luke Skywalker Jedi on her side. That is amazing. This is being resolved in the Dagobah system. We'll place Luke right here. And you know what? It's our time. We're going to try Ryloth. We're going to try Ryloth with Darth Vader. I only have two ground units, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to lose my subjugation marker on here. I actually don't have a ton for space either. I'm going to bring all of this in and I'm going to say, Monica, is that your base? And she says, yes, that is her base. We found her base. However, look at all these additional units that are coming in. Oh boy. And there's a shield generator and an ion cannon. There is no escaping this combat. This is to the death. If we can win this, if we can take out all of these units, I know she has a lot more than I do, but these ATSTs are no joke. Hopefully, I can have them survive because the air, I mean, look at this. We're going to kill these things, no problem. But the ground, we need to take them out. If we take all of them out and the only things left are these structures, we win the game. Here we have our space tactic cards. We'll flip them over. We have overwhelming presence. Prevent two red and one direct hit. She has next combat round. The uh, Imperial player cannot play a space tactics card. I don't think there's going to be a next round, Monica. <laughs> Normally, we'd roll five red dice and two black, but she has an ion cannon. That ion cannon, during each space battle step, your opponent rolls two fewer red dice. So we'll roll three red dice and two black dice, and we get three rerolls. Actually, it's only two rerolls. Three red and two black. Okay, and we'll reroll this one in. Uh, the repair does nothing, but that I think is going to be enough damage. We needed two black damage. We did two black damage to this one and one direct damage to this one. And now Monica is going to get one black and one green with no rerolls. We'll roll these up and she gets nothing. So we just took out her two space units. It's now all about ground combat. Because Monica has a shield generator, at the start of each ground battle step, she can grab one card from her discard pile and put it into her hand. I think she's going to take this, take it down, and put it into her hand because it gives her one red damage. Monica is going to flip over, take it down, of course, for dealing one red damage. We have overrun dealing two damage. The two damage will do to these two troopers, and then the one red is to our ATST. Our ATSTs each roll one red and one black, so two red, two black. And then she's going to roll five black dice, and we get th uh, up to three rerolls. We'll roll up the dice. Okay, that is pretty amazing. That's three damage. We'll roll this. That's four damage right there. With the four damage, she's only going to have one trooper. Actually, four damage. That's all of them. That's all of them. All we need to do is survive five black dice. There's six of them here, but the max she can roll is five black dice. She'll give her black dice a roll. She has one direct, two black, the two black she can't use on anything. She takes out one ATST. We have one remaining in her rebel base. This will mean she'll take out this ATST and we take out all of these troopers and we just won the game. <laughs> So close of a combat. Oh my gosh. What's crazy is Monica at the end of the round, she would have had units in five systems. She could have played this card. That would have pushed this objective marker up to here. We would have moved to round seven and we would have to have won by next round. If we hadn't, by the end of next round, we would have lost the game because we would have hit the objective marker. 
What a tight game. Well, there you have it. That was Star Wars Rebellion. Monica and I had so much fun. Hopefully we didn't make too many errors. Uh, I'm sure we made some tactical blunders, but my goodness, how much fun is this? I mean, we were able to take over Han Solo. Monica was able to get Luke Skywalker to learn from Yoda, but just not in time. <laughs> I felt like we had the game under control. We had almost found her base and then she moved it. And then I was able to track down Princess Leia and convince her to tell us three systems. We guessed Ryloth and it was right. Oh, what a great game. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you to our patrons. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. It's because of you that we love doing what we're doing. If you're excited to see what Barrett and I have coming to the table next, then I need you to meet me at the table. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah.